Good morning, everyone. I'm Brother Kenneth Martinez from the Brothers Kitchen. With me are students from the Grade 10. Hi, everyone. I'm Fern. And I'm Roland from Grade 10 E. Today, we'll prepare buko pandan. And we will use the following ingredients. We have four or five leaves of pandan. And uh, do you know that here in Asia, pandan is used for flavoring like vanilla to the west. Pandan leaves can also be extremely useful for healing various wounds and a great pain reliever for headaches. Chest pain and a fever reducer as well. Did you know that? I, I no, I did not know that. <laughs> I didn't know that either. <laughs> I didn't know that. I thought it was just a flavoring. And then we have one cup of all-purpose cream. I think this is the one. Two cups of shredded coconut. We have fresh coconut here. We'll shred it later. And later on, we'll show you how to scoop it out from the shell. Two boxes of uh, green gelatin powder. Two cups of coconut milk. Oh no, like uh, coconut water, sorry. And one can of coconut milk. Now, we start with the first step. To me, what we do is go curl it up and place the pandan here and then and Roland can you measure four cups of coconut water as well as one so you have to put a little bit extra because of the evaporation so we'll add it here right? yeah so it's better to have a little bit extra but not very extra because what happens is the gelatin might, might not be set. So, Roland. Yes, Do you have any questions while our, while our uh, coconut water is already boiling? Actually, you can smell it now. Yes. It's yes. like pancit control. Oh! <laughs> no way. No way. Anyway. Yeah, I actually do have a question, brother. So, brother Kenneth, what, what is it like to be a brother? You know, I've been a brother for more than 30 years. 1984. If you were to ask me as a young brother, I would have a different answer. Maybe it's because of the sense of adventure, to be always with young people. And now that I'm in my 50, I'm 53 actually, now it's the, the aspect of doing something that will stay on long after I have lived. You know, yeah. because we're building schools and we're building people and it just gives me um, a very hopeful and very positive outlook in life. Being a brother keeps you positive. That's a great brother. <laughs> That's so cool. I was really surprised when you said you were 53. Oh, yeah. I didn't think you were 53. Does it look like it? Oh, well, yeah. well, that's good. That's good. Apparently, that's also one of the things that's nice because you're always with young people. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you stay in school and everybody graduates, they're still young. When you stay in school, you get older, the young people are always coming in and coming out. So, uh, being in school keeps you young in the sense that you're forced to look at the eyes of the young, which is always, in a sense, useful and good. Full of energy in our life. Yes. Okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Alright. What we do is, um, put the lid down, and then can you let's mix the unflavored gelatin, and we will look until it's all dissolved. Can you mix it while yes, it's ready? It's supposed to be green. Yeah. yeah. Our favorite color. Yeah. Gola yeah. <laughs> sal. So while we are mixing, I think in a few minutes we will be really alright already. That's so, so good. Yeah. Okay. That's yep. the good thing about, you know, the brothers. It's just that put in the right mix of the same things that you're learning. Faith, service, mm -hmm. and communion and mission. It's like a recipe. You know, for what makes a lasagna. All the right ingredients of the three values that we, we hold true, not only as students but also as brothers. Mm -hmm. That's very 
So what we do is cool this in room temperature and let it set. And once it's set, it's better that we place it in a refrigerator so that it really sets very well. Um, so brother, uh, what inspired you to be a brother? So you're like a side. Uh, again, there's a lot of things that happen. No? I was like you, I was grade 9 and 10. Right? And, you know, I wouldn't even think of being in front of a camera, but also shy, very, very shy. And I was really uh, not very happy. But what made me happy was I volunteered. Oh, where do you volunteer, brother? I, I volunteered in an organization called La Salle, La Salle Apostolic. And it's a volunteer organization that does the campus ministry and outreach uh, services of the school. So I was with a bunch of people who were and students who were really um, doing a lot for the school. So I was sometimes the sacristan during the daily mass. I was sometimes a reader. Sometimes I do the mission collection. That's me. Really, yeah. <laughs> so sometimes I go out on outreach program. And what happened is that when I finished from high school, I was inspired to think of a career that would allow me to help people because it gave me meaning. A lot of insecurity got dissolved and became confident that if I could help somebody, I could do something for them. And that's how it is. But is there like um, any challenges in being a brother despite all the fun? Um, I can miss a whole yellow passport. <laughs> <laughs> the great challenges, of course, is how to keep track, how to keep uh, being a brother. Because it's not something that you were born with. Yes. You know, a life of generosity, a life of, uh, of community is something that not all of us are used to. So, but what's good about it is that when you have a strong faith that God brought you to this life, and then that sort of is a very good foundation for a brother's life, for a person's life. I see, that's something that doesn't come from us ourselves, it comes from God. That's really So, now, one thing other that we have to do is to shred young coconut. This is what you call malakani. You know, it's yeah. really basically uh, kind of thick but not tough. So, what we do is scoop out and shred the coconut. Can you do that yes, on yes. and then place it in this bowl? Why do we use the malakani instead of the other? Because it's kind of meaty and it's not tough. It's mm. actually the kind of coconut that you use for also uh, buko pasti. Oh, actually feel it, yeah. It's, it's easier. You can easier just place the, yeah, the buko so it's easier to put it out. Maybe you can help him and finish the stuff. Okay, Roland, the buko pandan is already set. You can cut it cut into it. squares. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, you know, it don't have to be very thick. Sometimes you think that the brothers is, oh, I know, they're, all <laughs> they're all good. <laughs> they're all good. Yeah, you can just imagine, when you look at the brothers now, oh my God, that, they're actually that, fun. They're, they're fun and not everybody's all good at all the time. <laughs> 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 no, they're pleasant. So there's, Sometimes when you say what's the typical profile of a brother, I think it's different, you know. But the, the profile of the brother is that they work and live for the mission. I think that's very important. And uh, that's very important. It's a critical main ingredient. Like it's like the, the gelatin. It forms the base mm -hmm. of, the, of 
something of a vocational Done. Okay. All right. Okay. Why don't you pour that? Pour this. Yeah. Uh, not actually pour, but uh, scoop, like, scoop like it scoop out. It. Yeah. yeah. And we'll give Fern the opportunity to to mix it while it's being cut. Up. Sorry. Uh -huh. <laughs> so, uh, and normally what I do is uh, don't break the gelatin up but oh, okay. actually yeah, continue to do it. I put cream. So so good. Yeah. It looks so good. Yeah, everybody's looking for to eat their share. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, and that's very important. You know, the good thing about cooking and the vocation of the brothers is that, you know, while you we while you prepare, somebody, something that you do is shared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's vocation. It's not really for myself. It's for something to share to others. Is that okay, now? Yeah. And then our last finish is the coconut milk. Why don't you finish it off and yeah. Yeah, and just pour it off. Everything there. We have a lot of people to feed, and that's what La Salle schools and La Salle vocation is all about. It's really sharing and feeding others the gift of education. <laughs> I'm so happy because we are now accessible to so many people. And then our last finish is normally the coconut milk. Do I keep mixing, brother? Yeah. And then what we'll do is we'll put this in a freezer for a short while. That's it. Right. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Be careful not to break the gelatin out. That's it. Okay. Alright. I think we're already prepared. We just really need to cool this up. So, uh, Fern, can you bring this to the refrigerator? Because it's best served best when it's cold. Uh, while waiting for it to cool, <laughs> I'm sure you have a question. Yes, so brother, how did you learn that simple but delicious recipe? Okay, maybe simple but delicious we'll learn later. <laughs> but you know, I was thinking, I really didn't get to know how to do this because I sort of brought it together just by thinking about it and how it should be done. And I think that's what vocation is all about, you know. Sometimes some people say, how do you even know? How do you get to understand if you're really cold? And I think there's one thing that I can share to you. Some things feel right and it's not here, it's not here, but it's somewhere in your body that it feels right, that you're doing something good and you're doing something good for yourself and you're doing something good for others. That's very important. Whatever vocation you do, it has to be something coming out of your body and sharing that to others. Now, that's the best. That's the best thing that you could really do. Find a vocation that you can share the best of who you are and that will also be the validation that you're called in that vocation or in that career, whichever it is. Yeah. So, uh, we have a finished product and I think we'll now uh, prepare Buku Pandang for us to take. So now here's the finished product, Buku Pandan, specially prepared for you, Fern and Holland. Yes. yes. Uh, enjoy, enjoy, you what, uh, enjoy this. Uh, can you turn it over? I'll do one more jelly or more buko. <laughs> more jelly. Oh. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's it. You know, it's so nice to, to, to do this and to share what we first tried. I think the cook should be the first one to try the, the food. <laughs> Right. Here you go. Same time, same time. Same time. Ah. <laughs> One, two, three, go. Mmm. Good. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 
<laughs> so, uh, brother, which one do you prefer? Eat it frozen or just chill? You know what I do? I place it in the fridge, uh, freezer first, kind of semi frozen, and then I eat it semi frozen. Mm. It's like an ice cream. Uh, so, some people put it in the freezer, and then after that, when it's kind of semi-solid and uh, they start eating. So that's the best for a book. So, but if, it, uh, if you want to keep it very long, presuming it will keep long in the fridge and not be eaten all, uh, it's better in the freezer because there's cream and coconut cream and uh, fresh cream. Okay. Well, before I get carried away, <laughs> <laughs> do you prepare this at home or or maybe for the brothers of yeah of the past. Actually, I, I prepared this a trial of this in the brothers' house. Brothers, and they all finished it. I did, I was looking forward to eating it in the evening. It's all gone. Right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think. Um. So, brother. Um. At this point, what do you look forward in the future? Like, what do you do in the future? You know, it's so nice. Yesterday, I was in the um, installation of Brother Ray Suplido as the new president of De La Salle Manila. I feel very happy for De La Salle Manila. And I was thinking, since the brothers are Philippi of the Philippines are part of La Salle and East Asian district, I'm looking forward in my lifetime to be assigned outside of the Philippines before I go through old missionary work. So if there's anything I would like to try, is to work outside of my own country. That would be interesting. We've been Any very particular country, maybe, brother, you'd like to go to? Uh, I, I have a preference, but I don't mind going anywhere uh, as long as there's something that I can do. With. But if it's really a preference, maybe to think about it, Japan would be my idea. Wow! <laughs> Oh, that sashimi and sushi. Yeah. Then. <laughs> Eat then, cooking, okay. then cooking with bro again. Yeah. yeah. You know. Cooking in Japan. <laughs> cooking in Japan. <laughs> yeah. All right. So there. I hope you guys enjoyed my recipe for the day. Thank you for joining us in today's show, Cooking with Bro. Thank you also. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, brother Ken, for sharing your recipe with us. <laughs> Thank you very much. You know, I'm I'm very happy to join to join in cooking with Bro. If you want to get to more to get to know more recipes fresh from the Brothers Kitchen, just check us out in YouTube or in the official Facebook of the Alatal Today. Once again, I'm Brother Ken. And this is Cooking with Bro. Yeah. Bye everyone. Bye.